Hi, everybody. This is the pack. This is pack life. And we had a wild day. And we're going to go out and we're going to talk about this as we hang with the dogs. Because these guys would love to hang. Didn't go out, right, Tooby? What do you got, eye boogers? Let me get that out there. All right, let's go, pack. Let's get out. Let's go. Come on. Come on, hounds. Keep going, Neil. I won't open the door on you. I think I actually did. All right, so there we go. We have the pack out. We get them a little bit of sun so they can niche it up on camera so people can yell at me. Oh, your dog's up, please. Okay. Um, so let's talk about our old timer friend, um, Eduardo. Is the, was the dude's name, and uh, here's the story on that. So right as uh, right as soon as the sun was up, you know, and I think you guys saw that last video, um, we went and uh, loaded our homeboy up, and he was old. He was probably man, the dude had to be like 80 years old. I don't know. I don't think he was any younger than that. Um, get out of there, Toby. Um, and so we have our homeboy Eduardo and we clip up out of here, out of the jungle. And it is a, Nori, you're so dirty. It was a, uh, it's a huge feat to like come in and out of here. Like it's not very easy. We're extremely remote and our roads, even leaving out of here, you have to have a four wheel drive to even get up out of here. And so it's not very often we have visitors at all. Um, and you know, Hey, Joshua, knock it off. Um, and so, uh, let me clip on with this story here. Joshua, knock it off. I don't know what he's even looking at. There's like nothing over there, but he sees something. And so, um, so we load him up, drive out of here, get up to the main road. And uh, we make it to this, what we have down in this country, which you don't have if you guys are from like North America, is like police checkpoints. And so we have police checkpoints all over the place. And um, we went up to the first police checkpoint, and this dude, this young dude, he, it took forever. Jaden went over there, talked to them, and finally they started moseying over to the truck, at which point they start asking the old timer some questions, and Eduardo can't hear. And so this, this young cop just starts like, yelling at him and telling him he can hear him and uh, he knows and where's, where's he live. And finally he's like, get out of the truck. And the old timer's like really, really super confused. So I told Jaden, who sp speaks fluent Spanish, to um, tell the dude, forget it. We'll, we'll go up the road like 20 some miles um, to another checkpoint. Uh, it's not a checkpoint, but it's actually like a, a full on cop shop. And, um, so he's like, okay, fine. So we drive off and we actually picked up yet another traveler along the way. An old janitor, uh, from a, a uh, this unit we used to rent from where we knew and we picked him up. So the four of us are heading into uh, this little town and we get to the little town and, um, we know, we actually know one of the cops that are there and, um, we've, we've had a lot of contact with him in, in good ways. And so we, um, talk to him he comes out or he, he didn't come out he, he tells us to bring the old timer in so we get him out and this old timer tells us he's like you know uh he's like you you guys are people of god because you are the only people that would help me and um I, that is probably true um this culture down here you can't go wandering around being you know old or drunk and, and people aren't just gonna like take you in it's, it's it's not like this you know this this society down here uh, has bars on their windows, right? You don't have a house without like major bars and, and it's just a, it's a very strange place at some level. So anyway, we get the old timer in and we sit him down and, um, uh, I, think, I don't know if I told you guys the rest of that. I keep, my mind keeps skipping on this thing, but he says that, uh, he told the kids that we were people from God and, and then he continues on a little bit into this thing, but he's, he's slurring so badly that we don't understand. And, um, it, it just, it's, it's, it's not good. So anyway, we, we pat him on the back and we, this cop dude, um, 
goes and he he gets his name. He this dude spouted off his full name, but he was completely incoherent there as well. And so um, as we were leaving, the old timer jumps up and says, "My my family." And we we I look at him. <clears throat> I tell Jaden, I'm like, "Tell him he's safe. These people are going to take him to his family or find his family for him." And he he's he sat down and he was okay with it. And, um, one interesting other piece of the story was, uh, last night when we were putting him in, uh, the, the Durango out there trying to find a place for him. We don't, we don't have a place like anything beyond a car. So a third chicken house or something, but I mean, I just wouldn't want to put somebody in there. So we get this little Coleman, um, jug for water, right? This little thing. And we give it to the, the old timer. And last night we had some chicken, and so we gave him two big fat pieces of chicken, and <clears throat> he was eating that. And uh, this morning he cuts out and he hands Jade the jug, and he says uh, he didn't want to pee in the Durango, and so it's in the jug. <laughs> so I told Jade grab it, uh, just let's get it washed out, and so they they took it in, dumped it, washed it with hot water and soap, and uh, refilled it with water, and we bestowed the uh, Eduardo the old timer. With his own little Coleman <laughs> drinking thing, so uh, we sent him with that. He ended up with some some stuff, and we um, we also you know sent him some food as well. So hopefully he has some lentils. I don't know wherever he goes, and so we did get the number for the cop stop, and um, we're gonna try to check in a little bit later and see if Eduardo found his family, and uh, see if there's anything else we can do. So anyway, that's the story of this, and I actually got to get to work. Because I got to do some cement work. We got to build something out there so that we can uh, get my big white truck out of this crazy jungle weather. And so we uh, <laughs> we don't get to spin things often. And so it's very very rare we get to buy a pipe or two or three. So one day uh, maybe this thing will come together. But it's not something quick because we uh, have many mouths to feed in this house. And so that's what we do. We gotta keep the mouths fed so anyway much love to everybody out there jerry you're filthy man this is why by the time you guys get to baths it's over and you know what i just filled this hole this hole was like dug way down i just put two huge wilbur loads of dirt right here and these 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 rodents rodent dogs have like ripped them out jerry bear you're looking really old buddy sorry one day I'd like to get a gimbal so I can actually zoom in and chill with these dudes. All right. Much love to everybody. Have a very, very, very good day. Much love to everybody out there. Oh, I thought I could do the zoom. I don't know where he went. There he is right there. All right. This is why we can't stop the fleas. Because these guys have no fear of the fleas. And they, uh, they sit in dirt all day in the middle of a jungle. That's what it looks like if you don't maintain it. It becomes jungle impassable territory. You have to get a machete to ever get through it. Welcome to the jungle. I'm out.